Hello guys and welcome to Coding Orbit. In this video, I will show you how to implement App Open Ad in your Flutter application. Once we run the app, we will get an ad, and when we click Continue to App, it will take us to the actual app. Now, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our content. Now, let's get started. All right, I have already created a Flutter demo application. It's the same application that Flutter creates when we create a new application. I just removed the comment so it does look nicer. Now, the first thing we have to do, we have to go to the browser and we have to install this library, Google Mobile Ads. So I will copy this dependency and I will go to the pubspec.yaml and go after Cupertino icons and paste it. Now click pubget and wait for pubget to finish and turn off the device because we have to rerun it in a while now after it finish we have to go to android then app then src then main then manifest and we have to scroll down now after flutter embedding 2 we have to go to the safari again and we have to copy this method data and we have to paste it here now this value we have to change it it's the application ID so we'll go to the browser again and we have to create a Flutter AdMob account and we have to create a new app it's a really easy step you can click add app and it will create an app now after you create an app I've already created an app I will go to the app setting and I will copy the app ID and paste it here now after we finish this step we can finally start implementing the Flutter mobile Add. All right, now I will create an app, open ad, and make it nullable called open ad. And after it, I will create future void and call it load ad. It doesn't take anything and it's async. And here we will say await app open ad dot load. And inside here, we will give add unit ID in a while and we will give request we'll say const add request and add request takes many variables you can see them it takes keyword and content url keyword what the user is doing and content url if you have a website you can specify it as well and the add load callback will say app open add callback inside here we have on add loaded and on add failed to load the on add loaded takes an add inside here Inside here, we will print add is loaded, and then we can say open add is equal to this add, and then we can say open add and force unwrap it because we know now it's not null. The show and when the add failed to load, it takes an error. So inside here, we can print add failed to load with the error and the orientation we can give it as uh, open add sorry open add portrait or horizontal landscape whatever you want and semicolon here now inside the main we will say await mobile ads dot instance dot initialize and then we will just say await load add and that's it all right now before running the app we need to have an add unit id we can use this add unit id or we can create an add unit id here and we can use it now since i've already created one it's called test flutter i will copy it you can see this is app open so i will go here and paste it and then i will run the app and see if it's working or not all right it does work you can see it's printed in the console ad is loaded and it showed us the app and once you click on this button it will take you to the actual ad all right now if you want to control it and you want to have different screens and once you click on the screen you want to show it we can do something better we can here we can create void show add and doesn't take anything and inside here we can first check if the open add is equal to null 
we can print trying to show before loading and we can say load add and then we can return now after that we can say open add and we can force unwrap it because we know it's not null the full screen content callback equal to full screen content callback and inside here we have different parameters we have on showed full screen content it takes an add and we can print print this and we can have on failed to load and this takes an error and it takes an add and an error and here we can say add to dispose because we have to dispose it after all and we can print print or we can print failed to load with the error and we can load the add again and we can actually say open add is equal to null before loading and we can do the same for undismissed if we want to have different add and to load different add each time so we can just copy all that but we don't have to show an error we can say dismissed all right and after all of that we can say open add dot show and now what we can do we can for example for this application we can on this button we can call show add inside here and let's rerun it to see how it appear now it shouldn't show us the add once we rerun it after add is loaded we can click on this plus icon and it sh will show us an add and once we close it, it will dismiss and dispose the ad, then it will load an, another ad. And once we click on this button, it will show us a new ad. So that was all. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. See you in the next video.